Good morning! What's everyone up to? Good morning, you guys! Alright, let's get our light going. We got a brush out today. Leaving the hair nice, long, and flowing. Right? Right, Max? Hi. You're so hairy. Look at your hair. Hey, we got just a brush out. Yeah, we just have a brush out. Just love you. All right, here we go. Let's get her done. Let me see what we got here. Let me do my leave-in conditioner here. Violette, I think you're the only person out there, Ran. I'm glad you let me know that it got out there. I don't think notifications went through. But, hey, what's up? How are you? Oh, hey, Buffy, what's up? Is this a private... <laughs> Is this a private stream just for you guys? This is crazy. <laughs> I'm laughing. Oh my gosh, y'all made me laugh for real. And now you know I was laughing when I was like, I'm really laughing over here. <laughs> this is a private stream, man, for real. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're starting off with our large bristle brush. <laughs> We've done a leave-in conditioner spritzer. Because my spray bottle does long sprays and short sprays. Pretty cool. Don't get it on the floor because then it turns into a skating rink. Oh, goodness. I'm telling you, did it happen to be just you guys? I'm telling you, what happened? You guys know Max, he's such a great dog when it comes to... Y'all are gonna, you all making me wonder something here. <laughs> oh my God. I, have, I have no comment right now. <laughs> I have no, I'm gonna no comment. You guys are the only ones talking? Is that the, the real deal? And then, uh, oh my gosh, that picture that MP has. I still don't even know what it is, but I saw the picture, and I was like, wow, how cool does it look from a distance, right? And it's not members only, because Violette is not a member, so I don't know. More power to you. God's watching over, I tell you what. So, Max, how many, who knows, MP, do not answer this, because you know the answer to most questions. How often is Max required to come in? Who knows the answer to that? Unless uh, someone new. Yeah, it's, it's a wreath form? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I saw like the original picture. But see, when you back out of it and you have that hole and everything, it's so cool how it looks like there. But if you close up and you see what it is, it's not the same thing at all, is it? Isn't that crazy? like the top of a coffee cup at first right right but it, it looks like the black hole you know the black black hole or something like that or a deep blue it looks really cool anyway I can't believe what it really is something so simple does Max have to come in? Violette, that's not right. Somebody else answer. 
I wish they'd come in every week. I wish they would come in every week. That's a lot, right? Drive time, you get, a, you know, 20, well, this hopefully is 30 minutes, but you're at the groomer at least 30 minutes, and they don't live all that close, or they don't live all that far either. They live a, like, I probably wouldn't want to do it every week, you know. I guess every eight weeks. Oh, his hair girl, if we wait eight weeks, it's, it's a bad day. So every two weeks, thank you, MP. So I knew, I knew that MP would know the answer to that. MP, I know you knew the answer. So um, I'm just playing. I figured you would know the answer, though. So Max is required to come every two weeks. And over the years, we had some, you know, didn't want to come out and we skipped it or whatnot. Or we changed it to every month. And when we went to every month, that's when we came in with all that. That wasn't the time where he came in and we did the three-hour thing with three people. That wasn't that time. That was because, I did she even miss? I don't even think she had missed it. She just wasn't available to brush because she had gotten sick. Um, like, got the cold and was in bed and everything. But there was a time before that. And not even in a row. It's like once a year or once every couple years or something like that. So there was a time where she said, Dee Dee, I, you know, I hate driving out there every two weeks. And that's every two weeks. So I said, okay, this is what we'll do. We'll switch it up to every month. And if you can't maintain the coat to where there's no matting coming in, then we'll have to go back to every two weeks because I'm not willing. We did that twice. Uh, we did that twice uh, between, a few years between each other. And both times it didn't work. And I just said, look, I can't, I can't, I, I'm not. You can go somewhere else. I said, you can go somewhere else. And she's not going to go somewhere else. <laughs> she's like, no, no, I'm not going to go somewhere else. If you, if this is, you know, and it wasn't me telling, it was just what was, what was coming, the coat, what, how the coat was coming in. And she's like, she gets it. You know what I mean? It's like no way around it. You can't go, oh, there's, there's no mats there. And then kind of go, oh, okay. But she was like, okay, you know, it's not working for me. And I'm like, no, it's not working for you. She even has the tools. She's got, she bought the comb from me. She got the brush. She got the leave-in conditioner. She has a groom loop. All these things help, and the dematter. Uh, all these things help her, but she's still not a groomer. She's going to do her best. But there's just something that the groomer has training doing this in most cases. So there's just something else. It isn't just a... Um, tidy up at home, you know, so she's really good though. She's even gotten better What's funny is that you take a pet parent that's doing kind of maintaining their own pet at home. It's a must If if you have a dog you have to help maintain the dog at home You can't go like to your dentist and be like well, I haven't brushed my teeth in six months Can you fix them? You know what I mean? You can't be like, okay, I'll just come here and let you brush my teeth No, 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 no. We still get up, right? We're supposed to brush our teeth twice a day You still have to brush your dog at home to help the dog, it's not even helping the groomer, it's helping the dog. And then the dog and the groomer have a better experience. But, oh gosh, man. At the end of the day, what's funny is that Mary, Max's mom, Mary and Max, Max and Mary, uh, it's cute, right? So Max and Mary, let me see, what am I trying to say? I could call Mary today and say, hey, Mary, do you want to work for me, right? Or do you want to come out and be, like, just a brusher? And she would be like, hell no, 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 thank you. <laughs> you know, I know how to do my own dog, but I'm not here to try to be a groomer. You know what I mean? So groomers still need to be out there for your pets in most cases. Uh, you're going to either use someone like a groomer or a vet tech or a veterinarian. You're still going to get ears looked at. You're going to get anal glands done, hopefully, by a veterinarian or someone that does it internally that knows what they're doing. You're going to still get toenail trims done, hopefully. You know, there's some things that you're still going to go out there and have done for your pet, right? So I have been, we did PJ prayer time last night, and I cannot, I cannot even fathom the amount of snow that really came down in Canada. Can you guys even, what really, you know, wow. 
You guys hear that? Did you see that? It was on, uh, what was it on last night? The late night news even? Uh, you know, Sierra, you were sending me pictures and telling me a negative 20 and this and that. And not that I didn't believe you, but really when I saw that, something, something news or whatever late at night, the world news, I really was surprised at how devastating those storms were. 90-something miles an hour winds. I mean, what? I, I hope that, you know, like, how do you prepare for that? No water on the shelves. I mean, you plan, you better not be leaving your house for a minute because now it's really cold outside. And I'm sure it's not melting, you know. And then some of them had lost the electricity. I just can't put my mind around it. Yeah, right, Buffy. Can you imagine walking in there? I love it when they do that. It's the same thing with pets, too, when you have to do your pet's teeth. It's like, hey, we, we just have the pet's teeth brushed at the groomer. And I'm like, well, how often do you go to the groomer? Oh, well, once every four months. And I'm like, well, what's the point? <laughs> because, you know, there's so much damage that's been done to the teeth by just not brushing them regularly anyway that when, you're, when I, as a groomer, get in there and I see the rawness, do you think I want to brush those teeth? No, I, it's probably not going to be a good thing. If you were to brush them and then there's going to be blood everywhere or you scratch up the gum line, if you're not going to do it regularly, what's that once every four months going to do? And that's where we brought in the Pets Life Gel. So you're going to apply Pets Life Gel and it's proven to kind of chip off the plaque buildup. you got something big in there, don't you? But that means, you know, you're not having to use a uh, toothbrush that's abrasive if you're not going to be regularly doing it at home. Don't have your groomers tear up the gum line. Make it all bloody and open up the bloodline for infection. How scary. Because, I mean, if I don't brush my teeth every day, even if I do brush my teeth every day, sometimes I still got that gingivitis situation. Can you imagine? Oh, you got some mats in your toes. You guys can see this, right? Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, MP, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Team Dodo Love. I heard through the grapevine that there's this nickname people call me. And you know what? I remember when I was young and I was bullied. Bullied means I picked, picked on and called names. And I'm an adult now, and it's still happening. So instead of being upset about it, you know, I'm uh, older now, and if someone wants to make fun of my name or make fun of my personality or just hate on me, you know, I feel like just run with it. So we are doing Team Dodo Love because that's my new hate, hated, hateful, what is it called? Hateful nickname. And as an adult, I want you to know, people are really bullied as an adult. And I really think that it should not just be about children. Because some of the meanest people out there are mean to an adult. An adult mean to another adult. And they hide behind a screen, you know, on Facebook or Twitter or wherever. I just think that people are just still very unkind. Adults are very unkind. And that's how they teach our children to be unkind. So instead of being hurt by still being bullied in my 40s, I want people to know how to handle when someone calls you a name, a nickname, or they call you a name to make fun of your name. You know, let them go on about their day. But you use that name, take it, and become powerful over it. Let it embrace it. And let it help you grow stronger and be a better person. So today we're doing Team Dodo Love because that's my nickname I heard out there. And let me tell you, I'm going to run with it. I'm going to run with that nickname. If you haven't been bullied, if you've been bullied, and we've talked about this, if you've been bullied right now, tell me the bully names that people have called you when you were younger, when you were, when you were older. Tell me some of those bully names people have called you and how it hurt. Did it hurt you when you were younger? I know I was called Doodoo -doo and Dodo and D7 because there was a product like DD7. 
there was a product that could clean anything. And you know what? I'm a clean person. <laughs> so I was like, growing up, it didn't bo it bothered me when I was younger. But now as an adult, I look at it like, wow, I don't act like that at all, you know? So embrace what people make fun of you and call you. And no, you don't have to come down to their level. You can take their bullying and twist it to make you a more powerful, stronger person. What nickname have you been called? And when, like when, were you young and was it hurtful? And now, did it damage you as a person? Were you able to get over it? And you got some little stuff in your fingers, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I see. What names were you, you called? Growing up, when were you called these names? I want you to know when we use Team Dodo Love that we recognize that people could be very hurtful and unkind, and I have your back. If you want to talk about it, it we are a phone call away. Me and my team, we're a phone call away. Don't let someone bully you and make you feel unworthy of being here. You are valued by me. You are valued by God. Your life is valued by God. You have life. You have value in your life, okay? It's very important that you know that because some of these bully tactics, you know, the, the devil comes through and he really wants you to, he wants to take you. He wants to take you away. Sometimes that would mean he wants you to commit suicide. And he'll get in your head and he'll play with your head because he's bullies. I mean, they'll be mixing you up. You're not worthy enough. You're not good enough. Your grooms are not good enough. Your attitude's not good enough. People that never met you, they don't even know you. They don't even know your spirit. They don't know nothing. Don't let that come through. That self-talk, that little tweak in your shoulder telling you these negative things, you tell a goodbye. Because my friend Didi over here said that. I should not listen to you. And you know who told me to tell you that? God told me to tell that to you. I didn't say it's going to be easy. I didn't say you might not get hurt by so what someone says about you. I didn't say that. What I did say was you are valued. And you have a place here. And right now that place might be right here with me. Just watching me groom this dog. <laughs> watching me brush Max. So do, do not. I don't care what. Maybe you should share this to somebody that's younger. Because I wish someone would have sat me down and been my good friend. And said, you know, whatever these kids are calling you. When they were younger, you know, when I was younger. Whatever they're calling you. Well, let me tell you, when you are successful and doing amazing in your 40s, you will never remember those people. You will remember the words they called you which have no basis behind it. Where are those kids now? Where are they now? Are they here around me? No. Did they define me? No. Should I have let them define me back then? No. But my young mind was not developed enough to understand that. But if someone sat me down and said, listen, there's going to be somebody right now that you can look at in this room that's calling you, making fun of you, make, doing this and that in your classroom, on the playground. And I want you to know something. I don't want you to listen to them. Don't listen to that. Don't let that become a part of your self-talk. How cool would it be to actually be able to step into someone's life and say that when they're six, seven, eight, nine years old and remind them. They might not even understand it then, but you just keep telling them. Whatever someone's saying to you that's not nice, don't believe it. Don't put your heart in it. Maybe you need to help me help somebody today and make sure somebody hears that. And let me tell you, it might be somebody, like, you know, who knew that someone was calling me names like that? Who knew that? 
I just want you to know, when someone wants to, to try to take you down, you do not have to go down. You do take your spirit down. You do not have to believe any of it. You can take it and become powerful. Right? Can someone tell us, go stop by a middle school and be like, hey, I need, to, <laughs> you know, they'll be like, excuse me, ma'am, I need to see your past. Do you have a child at this middle school? You can't come in here and give them a, a powerful boost powwow without a pass. But even adults is my point, right? Even adults right now are still beha behaving like children. And if they are, maybe you should say something. You can say, Whatever you've been through, I know you have a story, but let me tell you, the stuff coming out of your mouth is painful, and it's, it's you're really bullying somebody, and maybe you should stop. Because as a child, and it shouldn't just be about children, it should be about all humanity. How you treat somebody, what you say to somebody. How you say it. And let me tell you, I'm preaching to myself. I am not perfect. I'm sitting back going, girl, you better be nice. Oh, it's looking good, isn't it, Max? Yeah. Doesn't matter, man. The hair be flying around, fine hair flying around. Mm, you got fine hair flying around? Let me see. Man, maybe I should look into that. I would love to go do some talking at some schools about bullies. I think I'm a, becoming an expert because of the amount of stuff surrounding me as a person. I think I would be a perfect candidate to walk into a school and give examples of the things that I have been called and how I've been talked about and actually show them the proof and show them what people are saying and show them like these profiles of people. Man, would that not be so radical? where I can show them the proof and then show them how to handle it. That would be so cool. I walk in there with these billboards of these people and their names and what, and like screenshots, right? Of what they've said about me and their name is directly on there. So we pull up the person Facebook page and we're like well this man is like a 60 year old guy or this guy's 45 years old he's got two kids he works in a school system and this guy he did this and this and this and that and that girl she she has her own business but this is how she behaves and let me tell you how I want you to handle this kind of bullying and then really open it up from there how cool would that be I mean I really need to look into this I'll use the examples of what these adult bullies are doing to show children not to allow that kind of activity and maybe some of them will say, you know, my mom does that all day long. <laughs> my mom acts like that right in front of me. And I can say, wow, who do we need to call? Because this is not allowed. Who do we need to call to find out if you, are you okay? Now I'm starting to think real, real big now. I'll start going all over the, all over the nation with it. I think that would be freaking awesome. And while I'm there, I'm going to groom an aggressive dog. How about that? I'm, I'm not kidding you. Some things are happening in my head right now. I'm really thinking some things through. Like, could I make this happen? I got to print out a lot of stuff then. Maybe then people will be known for what they act like. And then they'll be very embarrassed of it. Because I'm showing children how their own parents are behaving. And that is sad to me. I mean, I'm more of the more static you have. Can 
you see like if we had if we just cut everything right there how how cute that kind of would be if you just kind of bought, like go like this right there with the ears like cup it super cute super cute I don't think some of these folks realize they're doing what they're doing. I think that if they did know the impact you have on somebody, they'd stop. And I'm talking about men and women that I know that behave in certain ways. All right. We're almost done. Not quite, but I do need to do a couple this and that. Let's go ahead and get our tin blade out. We'll do our tin blade sanitary here. Come here, babe. Nothing major, because this is a brush out session only. But he's here, so I'm gonna touch up some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and just touch base here or there. Let's flip it over to the 40 blade. Okay. Hey, Allison. Allison, we were talking about as we grew up um, what people called us, what kind of names people called us, any bullying that happened. Was there anybody that called you some names? Or even as an adult. May I? Okay, let me see, please. Don't get upset. Let me see. Let me see, please. Let me see. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't wiggle. Very good. Very good. Just got out of work all night. You worked all night, girl. Uh-uh. Let me see, please. Uh-uh. Let me see. Let me see. You want to stretch it forward, you can stretch it forward, but let me see. Very good. You want us to come face forward this one, too? It's not a good position for me. Now, I need you to turn them out because it's not really all that great positioning. Especially getting into the dew claw. Where are you, Allison? I can imagine. Do you still remember those names that were called to you? So... Now we can embrace those, those uh, bullies. As adults, hopefully, we can look back and remind ourselves and remind our children, you know, not to believe in some really hateful comments and don't let it define us, right? 
Now it's time to be a mom. 12 hours of work. What's this hair? Yeah, it's not even connected. I'm like, what is that doing? Can I spin it back around? Yeah, that's the edge of the table there. Okay, let's come back here. at me. You keep following me. Yeah, you keep following me. You see? Don't, don't spin around. I'm going to come back over to you. Can I have your shoulder here? There you go. Oh, I better read. The next one's coming in. The next one is a parent assist. I better go pull that file and read it. Got to be ready for them. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? If you quit looking around, though, don't keep moving around. We could be done already. I'll see you in two weeks. All right. that. You see? You see? May I get that out of your mouth? Here. Yeah. Get that out of there. Let me see. Up, 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 up. Yeah, the more you suck it in there, the more I know exactly where it is. What exactly needs to come out of there? Let me see. Up, up, up. Oh, your teeth, man. They're not looking all that pretty. <laughs> You're so sweet. Yes, you are. You're so sweet. Let me see. Try one more time. Open up. Open. Open. <laughs> Let go. Let go. Let me hold it. Open. Here. Open. There you go. Don't close it.
Wait, wait for it. Nice. Good boy. Much better. Let me see. Let me see. This is really going to help here. Let me show you why. Let's show them why. Yeah, let's show them what hair can do and different types of food. Let me see here. One moment. Let me see. Let's show them. Look here. Look here. Let me see. One more time. And you, I know you can see what I'm doing here. See all this? This will help when you get that hair out of the way. There's other things that play a role in why that's there. But what I'm doing will help. Yeah. It won't take it away, especially if it's already built up pretty good. But it will help. To our pet silk cologne, yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Ah, here we go. Well, thanks so much for joining me this morning, getting to watch Max. I know you guys love seeing him. He's one of the best dogs we have. He comes in super regular to make sure we avoid matting. I just spoke to mom. She said she was watching the whole stream. She was sitting outside. And she agrees. She said, what little you can do with that, it really helps because his beard, he gets everything in his beard. And he's on a special food because he has a real sensitive stomach. So they've got their own little food situation, which, you know, we know causes a little bit of issues on the amount of food left in his beard and in his teeth. Sitting there stagnant. Can you imagine? Food does do that. They're not like us. They're not cleaning their teeth and flossing and all that stuff. So sometimes, which is what I think might have happened with Cassie the other day, is that that soft food just lunged itself up in there and tucked its way up under there and probably sits there for a while. And that will just erode at the teeth. Just like water does. Water erodes things. The earth. So just so you know, keep an eye on your, your dog's teeth. And she said, since she said I was watching, you know, that's why she came right up to the door. She came right up to the door and said, okay, bye. 
And she says, yeah, I was watching. And I said, okay, cool. Did you see the teeth? And she said, yeah, I saw the teeth. Well, we have a, a dental on February 7th. So they already have it planned and they're going to go in. And I said, well, do you have a dental done every year? Because I try not to do a dental every year. I think surgery once a year is really hard on the dog's body. And that's just my opinion. You can do whatever you want to do with your pets. But some plans out there have a free dental every year. And I have told clients just because it's free, it's free doesn't mean it's good for you. So really have a reason to go under, right? Not just they look great, well, let's go under anyway. And it's that one dentist did last night, the one that was on the hoverboard, and he pulled someone's tooth on the hoverboard, and he was uh, anesthet an using anesthesia on so many clients. The judge, did you, anybody see this? The judge said, he got in big trouble for using anesthesia just to up cost the dentals on people that didn't need it. And so just because it's free or just because someone wants to do it, it doesn't mean you even in author like in a doctor position, it doesn't matter. You can have you're about to pay for this in some way, shape, or form, whether it's physically or financially, including your pets. It doesn't hurt to ask questions and sometimes question the process or the amount or what we're doing just like we hear so many t people saying you know why are you grooming that dog it should be you know under anesthesia well you're not the owner and you need to have a talk with your veterinarian and, and quite frankly you know that's how you would want to do it hey if you want to go under anesthesia once a year if especially if it's free go ahead I wouldn't not me you're not heck no I hope I don't have to have any surgeries I do not want to have any surgeries do you and those of you guys who I would talk to that have had many human health problems with surgeries and all that, I don't know how you do it, man. I don't know how you do it. I'm, I'm going to put you in my heart and pray for you guys. I would not want to have surgery every year. I would not want to be put under for anything every year. So I would not want my dog put under every couple months for a groom. And I sure as heck would not want my dog. I do not want any of my animals put under every year for a dental cleaning if I can help it. So I asked her that question, is that when's the last dental? And she said, well, it was a year ago. He lost two teeth, but we had prolonged it like an extra year before that because we didn't want to do it like a yearly. And I said, okay, I, 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 we're on the same page. Um, if it was gonna be like every year, I was just gonna say, hey, we gotta do something different because if you do it every year, sometimes that can trigger other, other problems you know, your collapsed trachea because of the tube that goes down the throat during surgeries, um, the airway, hello. If you haven't worked with a veterinarian, you may not know some of these things. I have had the luxury and the opportunity to work with veterinarians and I know a little bit more so I can share it with you when it comes to our pets and our groom dogs. So thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Remember, hashtag team Dodo love. When you feel like you're being bullied or called names, I don't care how old you are, embrace it. Don't let it define who you are or get in your head. Don't let it mess with your head. Be powerful and take it and embrace it. As an adult, we have to share this story because we are affected by people and it's how we react to others that really de describes who we are as a person. I hope you learn some true values here today and how to handle certain things that might happen and be thrown at you. Be better than you were yesterday and do your best today and forward. We all have struggles. We all have a backlining story of where we came from and what we've been through. Read the description of the video and maybe you could use some help too and I understand that. So get help. Get help, okay? Thank you all for being part of the family here at My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. I really appreciate you watching this brush out. I have a really busy day ahead, and I'm pretty sure you guys do too. Thank you for your time. Be sure to shop with us at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. You can pick up your Dog Upstand products at DogUpstand.com. And I cannot thank you enough for being here. All right, love you guys. We'll see you later. Do 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 do
Do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do